One of the most common questions that I see pretty much everywhere is people asking about whether they should ask their mentor or potential investor or anybody really if they should sign a non-disclosure agreement to talk about their idea. And the answer to that question is a resounding no. Do not ask these types of people whether they will sign an NDA. This is based on wrong premises that you have about your idea and it basically puts you in a bad light in front of the person that you're going to be asking for help. First of all, asking somebody if they can sign an NDA is basically saying that you don't trust them. And why would you go to somebody that you don't trust in order to talk about your idea and get your help? It's also kind of assuming that the only thing stopping them from like embarking on this huge new venture is simply having an idea. And as soon as they hear your idea, they're gonna be like, oh, well, that's the idea I should be doing. And they're gonna go out and build it, which is not gonna happen everybody has their own ideas or their to-do list, basically a list of things that they're gonna be working on or that they wanna try or they wanna do. And everybody's ideas are precious to themselves. Also, I see that usually the people that are asking about whether they should have somebody sign an NDA are people that have one, never built products before, and two, are very insecure about their idea. They usually think that their idea is going to be the next big, huge thing that's going to change the world when in reality they have not gone out and tested their idea, they have not gone out and tried to get any customers, tried to get paying customers, built a product or, or done anything. Really, it's just an idea in their head that they're like, I think this would work. And then your imagination like blows it up, makes it bigger, and you can see everybody using your product when in reality you haven't actually tried or tested anything. So by asking a mentor or a potential investor if they'll sign an NDA, you're basically saying that you think that they're gonna steal your idea, and let's say you don't actually follow through on this idea. They are still under that non-disclosure agreement in order to not actually talk about or build any product similar. And usually NDAs are so broad that they could be covering pretty much anything. So any potential investor or mentor that signs an NDA really doesn't know what they're doing. and. It's showing that you don't trust them and that you think your idea is going to be stolen, which really there is a very, very low to no possibility that that's gonna happen. The only time you really want to use a non-disclosure agreement is if you're going to be hiring coders or outsourcing work. And even then, your outsourcers or the people that are building the product is within their best interest not to rip your idea off because Building the product and having the product in your hand is really only the first step, the very beginning step. What you have to do is once you have that product, actually get people to use the product. And that right there is the hardest part because even if you have the best product ever, like the coolest thing anybody's ever used, actually getting people to one, know about it, two, sign up and get their information and get them to use it, and three, make a habit of it so that they're continually coming back to your product. That is insanely hard work and it takes a lot of different elements in place to get it to happen. So you could hire an outsourced company overseas, they build your product and then they rip it off and they build something extremely similar. And you know what? It most likely won't matter because it matters who is able to get the customers. And if you're able to do that and get the users, you're gonna be good. And most likely a development t team and a development company is going to know how to develop products and that's why they're selling their services to develop, not to develop users and to get users because that's an entirely different skill set. And most likely it's not gonna be advantageous in order to for them to try to build their own products and that's gonna be why they're doing building of your idea. So never ask investors or mentors or anyone really to sign a non-disclosure agreement. It's pretty much meaningless. It's just gonna make you look like an amateur and like you don't know what you're talking about.